Mm, I don't know what to say. Hey everyone, what's up? So today I am driving down to Varus Engineering to pick up um, a little bit of an addition to my front splitter. I bought this front splitter back in, I don't know, like October range. And I've always wanted to get the end plates that go on the splitter to give it more of that aggressive look. Having these wider wheels, they stick out just very slightly from the body itself. So having the end plates on the front essentially cupping the air to go over the wheels, I think would really help with aerodynamics in the beginning. Um, and I don't know why it's at the beginning, but I think it would help overall um, for the front end with function and also make it look a little bit more aggressive. So we're gonna go pick those up real quick during my lunch hour and hopefully put them on later today or sometime this weekend. secured a little bit of swag it is such a nice day for an install five minutes later Alright, so update, uh, can't use these because the electrical socket in my garage does not work. So, <laughs> we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do this, uh, with very little light. So I apologize in advance, I'll try and fix it in post-production. Hi friends, it's about a week after I've actually done the install itself. Now I'll get to it, um, but wanted to just do a quick walk around of what the car looks like right now while I still have some sunlight. Um, just in case you're wondering, I have headphones on because I'm monitoring the audio as I talk to the camera so that way I know my audio isn't chopped up and broken like the last time I tried to film. It's gonna be a little bit windy, a little bit noisy, so do apologize about that in advance. But let's get to it. Oh my God, they're playing with dogs over there. Oh, I want a dog so bad. Oh man, it looks so pretty out here. I picked these up from Varus Engineering and I was, I mean, let's be honest, I was just really bored last Friday during work. So on my lunch break, I was like, hey, uh, can I stop by and pick these up? So I did that. I did this whole thing where I was like, cool, you can just drive down there, pick them up, come back and do a quick install. But what I ended up doing was after I got back, I installed them later at night and I tried getting some lighting at Lowe's, which it worked, but uh, the outlet wasn't working. So I had to install these in the dark, which led me to not filming it very much. I have a few clips here and there. One of the things I will say is that it's very easy to install it. You're gonna be using the factory holes here in the fender liner to do these three bolts back here. And then up front, so I can get that in focus. On front, you're gonna be using three bolts down here that have pre-drilled holes for the plates themselves, but you will have to drill into the splitter, which I'm honestly not concerned at all because it turned out to look really well. Oh man. Oh, this just looks so freaking good. I cannot believe this. I think it just really complements the front end so well. Look at that. Just look at it. I was waiting for this random guy to come up here and be like, would you just look at it? Look at it! Yeah, well. What the heck is that? Because <laughs> I'm just sitting here doing the same thing. Like, would you just look at it? 
One of the things I really like about it is how flush that is up against the actual side of the of the uh, oh, splitter. Another thing that I actually forgot to tell you about was, um, so this guy, this wheel, I actually damaged it along the lip um, the day after I installed the end plates up front there. So I'll pop a little photo on screen of what that looked like. It wasn't too terrible of damage. It was just really freaking annoying. And um, I kind of obsess over the car a little bit because I put so much effort into it. So I got it fixed here at a local shop. Um, took about three days. So I'm actually filming this a week after the install of the end plates just because this had to get mended on the lip where it was damaged and the entire wheel had to get repainted because you can't just do spot treatment on black wheels. So you can actually tell on the inside here that it is painted through and through. Even the weights that they put on it when they rebalanced it have been painted over. And then when you look at the front wheel, this is from the factory. So it's obviously dirty, but like it's not it's not finished paint and the inside of the barrel like it is on the outside of the barrel and the weights here are from when I originally bought the wheels and they got mounted and uh, balanced so so yeah that's why it took a week for me to actually get out here and film the post installation but I really am a big fan of these end plates I think it really complements the front end of the car very well um, god it's just <laughs> This just looks so freaking good. Also, apologize for audio in advance. It's pretty windy and noisy out here, but just look at that. Like, in its actual carbon fiber, it's dry carbon, which honestly looks really, really freaking good with the interior, which is also dry carbon. Um, but this is actually a vinyl wrap interior, which I'm planning on doing a video on how to do it because down here the handle is scuffed up and peeling a little bit from a friend that hit it when they were drunk. So, but that looks really awesome. And it just kind of complements the look I'm going for on the outside here with the headlight, the side markers which are smoked, and then just the dark front end with you know the, the splitter and the end plates and stuff. So I, I really, 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 I'm stoked about this. One thing I will say about it is that it does come with hardware that is silver. And this is the stainless steel option. Um, if you buy this kit from them, they send you two different types of hardware. You get this one where it's stainless steel. Um, and then you get one that is not stainless steel, it'll be black. The problem with that is, is that when you get the, when you use the black ones, it's more stealthy underneath with these bolts down here, but it is not very rust resistant. Whereas these are stainless steel and they're pretty rust resistant. Now it's not the actual button, uh, button top style bolt. I think that's what they call it. Um, it's actually the, the nuts underneath that are black or stainless steel. So it's just, I installed them kind of upside down because I, it was such a pain to get the bolt inside of there with big bulky hands that I just flipped it around so but that's the option there and honestly and honestly as everybody drives by apparently in this empty ass parking lot but honestly this looks freaking amazing I literally cannot even begin this is actually a really good place for photos I might take some photos here but this is honestly something I highly recommend doing um, I definitely don't recommend hitting your wheel on the curb because that that was a pain in the ass and oh my god it's windy we're gonna get in here oh man so many people have their dogs out here like uh i just want a dog what's going on here yep there we go okay this is risky because it's sitting on my dash <laughs> Oh, let's not, let's not lose the camera. I've already broken one thing this last week. I don't even know, I, I don't even know how I want to end this video. I guess like, I guess I just got really bored last Friday 
and I decided to go install a part and I'm glad I did. I feel like I just kind of threw it all together, but I really, really, really just wanted to like rant a little bit about what I've done to the car. Minus, minus actually damaging my wheel and this, this stuff is in the way. I mean, really like all I did was just get really bored one day and go to, decide to buy car parts and throw them on. So I, I guess moral of the story is just have fun with your car. Um, don't, don't damage your wheel like I did, but if you do, get a fix as soon as possible if you're like OCD, kind of like I am. Um, but the, the end plates are really awesome and I, I highly recommend looking into any sort of aerodynamic part for your car because it really just, it makes it look really awesome but it also provides a lot of function. So I love it, I love the way it looks, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, enjoy watching me geek out over it. So, but if you enjoyed the video, it's, I know it was a short one, more than likely, I haven't even quite looked at how long I filmed, but if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe down below. Um, I plan on making more content around my car as I progress through this year and get more stuff for the car. Um, so thank you so much for taking the time to watch it and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.